Here's Auto Access PSP Connect. Select Register. Enter the required information to create an administrator profile for your organization. Other representatives can be added once the account is created. Provide the required information in the CAPTCHA and click Submit. You will then receive an email from the bank that contains instructions to complete your profile creation. From this email, click on Complete User Account Setup. There can be a slight delay before you receive the email. If you have not received the email after a few minutes, please check your junk mail folder before contacting the bank. Once you've selected the Complete User Account Setup link in the email, it will automatically direct you to the invitation code page. Click the register button on the page. The sign in page will then be displayed. At this stage, do not enter an email address or password. Your account has not been created. You've only created your profile. Instead, click on register now. At this stage of the process, you'll need to enter your email address and select send verification code. Then refer to email for the code. Enter the verification code that you received by email and select Verify Code. Do not try to create a password before entering the verification code. The system will not allow it. Once you see email address verified, then you can create a password. Fill out the rest of the fields and select Create. Once you have successfully created your password, the system will automatically require that each user sets up a multi-factor authentication, MFA. To do so, please follow the instructions on your screen to complete the process. Once you've completed your account setup, you'll be presented with this screen and you'll have the opportunity to update your profile if needed. Some fields will be pre-populated with information the bank will have used when creating the first steps of the account setup. Please make sure that all the mandatory fields are completed and select update at the bottom of the page. You are now ready to start completing the registration application form. Once you're connected to your account, you'll be able to navigate to the top menu bar where you will be able to update your profile and add new contact by selecting My Account. View your application form, its status, submit an amendment, and view the registry once it's published at CIF2 by selecting Registration. Access the messages sent by the bank to inform you of the status of your application or to ask you to provide additional information to complete our evaluation under the Message Center and consult the reference documents as well as FAQs that could be useful during the registration application process under the Resources and Help section. Navigate to the middle of the page and select Start a Registration Application. Please read carefully the notice and confirm that we have read and that you accept the notice by selecting the checkbox. Click on Submit. The main page of the registration form will then be displayed. The registration application form contains 18 different sections. Click on a section title to access it. The sections do not need to be completed in a specific order, although some need to be completed to complete the next one. The progress bar at the top of the page will give you an indication on your progress. The status for each section will move from incomplete to complete as you move along the form. Once all the sections are completed, click on Submit Application. You are now required to fill out the form in one shot. If you need to sign out, click on Sign Out. To log into PSP Connect again, select Sign In. Enter your email address and password and select Sign In. The system will then prompt a multi-factor authentication where you will be asked to enter the number on your phone using the multi-factor authentication application that you downloaded. Select Verify. If you have any questions, you can contact the bank by using the Contact Us form that can be found in the footer of the web page. For any technical assistance, please contact our service desk using the phone number provided on this page.